back everybody. So today we're going to have the next tasting of my Triumph Smash. Smash beer is single malt, single hop, just so you can play around with malts and hops, see what you get. Uh, so this was bottled on 8.4, uh, so it is about eight months old from this point. Uh, this is a small uh, 1.25 gallon batch. So the numbers I'm saying are for that. So if you wanted to make this in a five gallon smash, you'll have to scale it up. This is using two pounds, four ounces of raw or two row. Uh, our boil, uh, 0.1 at 60, 0.25 at 10, 0.25 at five. Then three days into fermentation, we're using 0.4. Um, that three days means you should let it go seven days. So when you first put the yeast on it, three days later, or once uh, fermentation starts, count three days, put it in there. So if you did, if it took off that day, um, then you would wait until the third day, then that would be seven days. You would bottle on that 10th day total from brew to finish. Now, some people like to let it go two weeks. So if you do do that, I would still add it uh, at high fermentation, high crozen, uh, just for the simple fact you're pushing, that yeast is pushing out and then when you drop your hops in, you're less lock likely to get oxidization because as you're putting them in there, yeast is pushing stuff out. So hopefully you can cut down on that. So this is 4.74%. Um, bottle feels pretty tight. Um, big carbonation tablets. These are, I believe, 25 ounce bottles. So if you use the big uh, um, carbonation drops, to it should be good maybe a touch undercarbed um if that's a thing let's go ahead and see if we get a hiss this is a reused cap good hiss on there i did not see any smoke let's go ahead and pour it in here see if we can get somewhat of a head on there See how long it stays around. Um, Off-white uh, head, small and medium bubbles, not even a half a finger of head. Dirty Glass Mafia. Um, a little hazier, I just did the New Zealand Pacific Jade. This one is a little hazier uh, than that, but still the bright yellow. Um, I think that's going past chill haze. I do bottle directly out of the fermenter, so I'm gonna get Trube and all that kind of stuff in there. Uh, good carbonation level, not overdone uh, compared to what the New Zealand Pacific Jade was. That's good. Uh, for the hot profile, um, intense, or yeah, intense fruitiness um, is what I have down. So let's see if we get that out of the smell. Um, it, it's more, I, first thing that comes to my mind is peach. Like kind of an older peach. Yeah, there definitely is some fruitiness in there. I, I would say, if anything, I pick out peach more than anything. Uh, older peach, like I said, a little toasted bread, but I do get that out of raw two row. Very light, very light, like an old juicy peach is what I get. Let's go ahead and taste. This is gonna sound weird. It is thicker. It's definitely thicker than the New Zealand uh, Pacific Jade that I just did. If you haven't, I would watch that video. I don't think I've ever had this. I don't know if it's just that peach fruitiness mixing together, but it's almost like there's apple juice in there. Not bad, because, you know, some people, I'm guessing apple juice, okay, something's off. Maybe it's just that peach fruitiness. Um in there because that taste didn't taste like that apple juice that I thought it was. A 
Very smooth, heavier pushing medium. Very summery, um, light ABV. Um, almost the ABV doesn't correspond with the thickness of the beer or the body of the beer. Uh, I, I think it should be almost in the middle of light to medium and not up towards medium. I like it. Yeah, I, I think it's like a, a kind of an older peach with a little sweetness um fruitiness in there um bitterness is very low uh it's 10.8 the triumph hops are 10.8 so it does feel like those have went downhill um i don't i can't tell you if i got peach out of it before <laughs> excuse me solid Definitely one. I'll have to go back and watch some of the older ones, like the first tastings, uh, to see. But I don't believe that taste. This tasted like that. This is something I would make and let age eight months. Um, I like it right now, but again, like I said, I'll have to go back to see if I liked it before um, in the first couple tastings. But yeah. I think it's good. So if you like this review, check out some more homebrew related videos over here. And until next time, happy brewing.